My name is Victor Urindi. I work with the Adaptation Consortium, working in Kenya uh, to support uh, a number of subnational governments to mainstream climate change planning and in budgeting and implementation. Um, day one of CBA 12 was great in that uh, there was a lot of examples from a number of countries that were shared and key lessons uh, that we learned. One was that, uh, well, uh, it's good uh, working through existing governance structures. It's also important to take into account the local context so that uh, whatever is proposed can be implemented uh, without uh, many challenges. Some things like incentives are good and uh, can be used to motivate uh, uh, adaptation activities. And this may well, might as well work in certain contexts but not the others. The second thing that we learned uh, yesterday was the fact that uh, we need to attract private sector. Uh, this is one of the challenges, especially for those working on adaptation in the hard to reach uh, vulnerable areas where we need to attract uh, a lot of investment, a lot of funding uh, to deal with these challenges. But the one thing that uh, we noted was that also attracting private sectors need to be unpacked a bit uh, to understand what sort of private sector are you able to attract in these difficult areas uh, which might not readily lend themselves to uh, uh, the objectives of uh, private sector such of uh, investing and getting some good returns on their investment almost uh, immediately. So we need more discussion in terms of uh, what uh, can we do uh, to ensure that we attract the different uh, uh, private players from the small scale to the medium and maybe when the environment uh, is good enough then we can uh, think of uh, uh, the coming of uh, the big uh, private sector players. So private sector is good but I think uh, more discussion is needed in terms of finding different incentives for the different categories that can might seek different contexts.